Cathy Sijong and today we have DJI Action 2 finally in my hand. It has been stuck in the airport for some time, like 10 days before it got delivered to me. I have no idea. So next time it would be great if DJI can resolve their delivery issue for products that consumers have purchased. Today what I want to do is take you guys to my first impression. So here you guys are seeing me on the warp standard mode which seems actually really really wide however you can actually go super duper wide so I'm just gonna quickly change. Okay so this is the wide mode. I don't know whether it's different but I'm definitely gonna have some comparisons so you guys can definitely check. So right now I'm about a meter away from the camera so it is wide however there is super wide wow this is super wide so right now just a meter away from the camera and whee, i can actually stretch my arm out and you guys can see this entire picture in the super wide mode and right now i'm back to the warp mode and actually in the screen here right bottom corner there is a place where you can actually optical zoom upwards so right now i'm at one times and actually it does change while recording so right now i'm at two times so a little bit of difference i am leaning a little bit towards the camera so this is where i'm sitting so this is two times and then let's go to three times but it's stepless so you can actually go like 1.5 times 1.7 times 2.3 times etc oh so this is three times so I need to sort of lean downwards for you guys to see me on the frame but this is three times so four times I'm here um, yeah so this is the zoom that you get but I think it's the optical zoom how do I look like I'm back to normal and while we have it you guys might wonder where the mic is coming from right now I do have well it is a very windy day today uh, right now I do have Rode Wireless Go 2 so it's actually just recording on this uh, transmitter. So I actually love this microphone. But DJI did advertise that they do have four microphones, especially if you do have the front touchscreen module attached to the camera lens. I wonder how my voice is going to sound like. Yesterday when I double checked on the video, I did notice that it actually picks up my voice very well. However, it also picks up the background noise as well. And there is a massive road right next to me so i don't know i think you know if you really want to vlog with it if you want to do even webcam because there is a function where you can webcam then you probably want an additional mic i think so right now i'm on 1.5 times and i want to share with you guys are my favorite feature so far and i'm actually very happy with how strong the magnet is so here is the necklace and i've been using it a lot because i do like riding bicycle and because it really suddenly got cold this week. So I'm wearing a padded jacket, which means it's pretty thick. This, uh, this down, down jacket is actually quite thick. Actually, to show you guys, I will need to change the camera. So you switch the camera, and right now you're actually seeing me on Insta360 Go 2 camera because when you're considering DJI Action 2, you would also be considering Go 2 from Insta360 camera. I am going to do a complete video of comparing the two cameras, but I do need more days for me to actually understand about DJI Action 2. However, you know, if you guys want a quick comparison, then you can do so by watching this video. So back to talking about the strength of the magnet. I was pretty amazed. This thick down jacket, I was actually able to use the camera as a dash cam because it's freezing when you're riding bicycle I want to have my jacket zipped up so DJI Action 2 the magnet is only at the bottom part of the lens so what it does is stick and it is very strong and then there is also magnet on this side and I thought this area is rather small however just look at the strength so it works when it's facing this way and the lens turns to the bottom side but DJI Action 2 recognizes that the camera has flipped so it will also flip the camera so that it records in the right correct orientation <music> So 
So let me continue to talk about the magnet. And right now I'm on my mobile phone, Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus, if anyone's wondering. So DJI Action 2, I do really like it because I do find magnetic camera super duper convenient. So with Action 2, I was very content with how strong the magnet is and how well thought out the whole design is. So here you just need to make sure that the sides are the same and then off it goes. And it just basically latches. I'll need to open this up. However, it basically latches exactly onto the place and you can see that this extra module start charging the camera part i'm just gonna have you know how long the battery should last for each module because i don't remember but basically in this setup you're definitely good to go for a long time and often i've been just Work. oh it's very strong i've been using it with the pendant on its own for hyperlapse for you know for a long ride and it's been working totally fine so other extra accessories such as the magnetic ball joint so i can just put it oh it's the other direction it, w it will let you know you can actually change the angle into whatever direction <laughs> So what's great about this accessory is you can take it out and you can take off the sticker and it will stick to most places. So it's now time to take off the nano rubber. Okay, I'm trying to pull it away. It's really strong. And oh, this is really convenient. Wow, it is super strong. So it works, it totally works. So this looks actually really nice. It sticks on very well. And you just need to clean it with water so that you can use it multiple times. And if you take off the nano rubber part, then here you can stick a selfie stick and so on. So you can basically use it extended. And there is a third and last accessory within this dual screen combo bundle box. Here, the magnetic is super duper strong. Once again, you can put any sort of GoPro mount on here for your action. But one thing that I just do want to highlight, and I'm not saying it's a bad thing because I think it's something that DJI engineers have really thought about, is that the magnetic part only comes at the bottom, which means you can't do something like this. With Insta360 Group 2, the magnet is at the back. Whereas with DJI Action 2, it goes to the side, which is fine. However, at the side, the orientation is vertical display, if anyone's wondering. So I think it's also good for, you know, TikTok, Instagram story, YouTube shorts. Go for it. All right, so it is really cool today. Um, so I look like a girl from Siberia. So the dual display, the more I use it, because at the beginning I thought, oh, maybe just an additional battery pack was enough. It is cheaper that way. However, the more I use it, I am liking this dual display. So I can make sure that I'm inside a frame on the selfie mode like this. And if I quickly turn around, then everything is also in frame. However, with DJI Action 2, they do have rock steady mode as well as horizon steady mode. So right now I'm already on rock steady mode, but here you can, if you press here, then you can actually change the rock steady and oh, I thought there was horizon steady. I'm not sure where horizon steady is, but we have rock steady. So right now I'm on ultra wide and this is rock steady. I think it's wider, but this is without rock steady and I'm running probably super shaky, I think. Next, I wanted to find out 4K 120 frames per second, but all I could find so far is at 2.7K. So here we go with 2.7K 120 frames per second. <laughs> I just dropped it a little bit while I was taking that slow-mo and I can see a teeny weeny scratch on this aluminium body which I do like the look of but hmm quickly on a few negatives that I have noticed about Action 2 don't get me wrong I think this piece of technology is amazing but 
I do wish there is a case for it because at the end of the day you do have you know display you do have the camera lens and this is not like replaceable cover everything is in like one body and I do have DJI care for two years I always get it with DJI products because just in case and in comparison I keep on you know going back to Insta360 Go 2 because I think they are in sort of direct competition against one another this does have a case although the case is actually also very important because this is a remote control as well but it is really nice having the case because it protects the lens protects the camera but yes the glass is gorilla glass so it's supposed to be super duper tough and also the voice control i do have the voice control on so right now i'm gonna hang on so right now i'm going to start recording start recording start recording <laughs> so sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't work start recording yeah it works i thought it's just my bad english but sometimes it works stop recording stop recording yeah it works take photo take photo oh it took photo and the fourth last command is shut down perfect <laughs> okay so now it's really sunny oh the sun is shining i love it and it's getting a little warm and a lot of people have been talking about the overheating issue of action 2 however i did not notice it because today is like around five degrees celsius so i'm gonna have the fahrenheit up here oh i take that back because the camera feels really hot when it's connected to my laptop for file transfer right now the battery is a little bit on the low side already but i'm gonna keep on using Using this camera because so far overall I do like it so definitely wait for more reviews if you do have more questions do let me know in the comments down below I'll get back to you guys and stay tuned for more reviews on action 2 as well as other interesting gadgets so please don't forget to subscribe like the video and see you